play hide and seek all that summer, and I used this as my secret hiding place. And I won all the games until they didn't let me play anymore, but that was okay with me because I was just testing it out for secrecy. And it passed every time, huh? It sure did. Hmm. Did you ever have a secret place when you were a kid? Not as nice as this. What, did you have, like, adventures and all that stuff? <laughs> yeah. I was Snow White once. And after I married the prince, he was kidnapped by evil grundlings, and I had to rescue him. Did you? Mm-hmm, of course. I bet you were a beautiful princess. All princesses are beautiful. And so are elf queens. I think my daddy's very smart. What makes you say that? Because he's falling in love with you. Come here, you beautiful elf queen. <laughs> Speaking of your daddy... Oh, I know. We'd better get back before he starts looking hard and we might find it. Oh, no. We can't have that, can we? No way. Robin? Yes? I'd like to come back here and visit your secret place with you again. May I? Of course. It's your secret place, too. Thanks. <laughs> Let's go. It was Mr. Lavery with an unknown accomplice who pinpointed the whereabouts of Anna Devane, and that led to the capture of Putnam and the rescue of Mr. Vane. And then a complete. It's Julian Jerome. Hello. Hi. That was quick. I came as quickly as I could. You saw that if it was urgent. Thank you. Did you enjoy your visit with Robin? Yes, it was very nice. She asked me to make a point of telling her that I had seen the poisoned ivy and it was indeed clearing up. Good. She's met a new friend. Nice kid. Honey. Tell me sorry about the telephone call, Anna. She had a heart set on making it, and I didn't think it was fair for you to stop her. It's all right. About the lawyer, I am looking for one. What, what between my meetings in New York and the problems with the club here, there don't seem to be enough hours in the day for me to get everything done. I've been thinking about what you told me in New York and about the things that are going on here. It was all the truth. I understand that you were covering up just to protect Robin and me. Do you know how much easier it would have been if I could have told someone, Anna? It's very easy to share a secret. Only problem is then you involve another person. You know that, don't you? I need to ask you some questions to clear up some things in my mind. Ask anything. Do you honestly believe, honestly, that you can make the Jerome operations completely legitimate? The people I've talked to have agreed. The protection people, the gamblers, loan sharkers. And drugs and prostitution? They'll be tougher. <sighs> yes. What if you can't succeed at that? I mean, drugs is a huge thing to interfere with. There is so much money involved. What if they refuse? They'll be let loose from the family. And is Victor Jerome ready to allow that? All that money and power? I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous. Julian was determined that it could work. He was working towards it. Yes, but that was Victor Jerome's son. He's not about to take out a contract on his own son. But this is you. Anna, I'm obliged to Julian. He died saving my life. Yeah, you're risking it, don't you see? Nobody's going to kill me. Oh, you don't know that. You don't know that at all. What if you fail at this? Then what? Then I'll walk away. You don't walk away from these people. The Jerome family law has never changed. Oh, come on, Anna. I have to try. Don't you understand that? Yes, I do. I think you ought to do something for your own protection. I think you ought to write everything down that you do, document it, all of it. Perhaps you're right. Maybe I will do that. Excuse me. I have to go. Anna, I want out of this situation as 
much as you want me out of it. But who hasn't found themselves in a position where the only way to get out of the trap is to move ahead? Have you? Judge, everybody's loved him, and they feel kind of bad about the accident. Accident? What happened? <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> what happened to you? It's all rather simple. <laughs> the boat left, and I got in it. I then stood up in the boat as it got close to the shore, and the boat hit a submerged log. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm glad you guys are getting a great big laugh out of it. That's a big sloppy kiss, huh? Oh, 